Hello everyone. This time I want to show you how to set up the SMTP relay on Windows 2016 server. Normally, after the you know user mailbox has been migrated to Office 365 or Google Workspace, some companies still need the you know SMTP relay for the legacy applications, but they don't. Uh, they can only input the SMTP server IP address can't put the username and the password to authenticate. So let's see how can we set up the SMTP relay on the Windows 2016 server. So this application still can send the email out through the SMTP relay server. So I open the server manager. If I click on add rules and uh, you know features and click next, next. And select the server next. I click next. So you see, I installed a select SMTP server. It's already installed. So in order to set up STP, SMTP relay, we need to install this SMTP server feature. So this is already done. So let's go to the IS6. So if I go there, I go to admin Windows Administrative Tools, and then I want to open IS6 Management. So if I expand this one, you see SMTP service here. So see if i want to set up smtp relay i want to right click the server and then click properties and then i want to go to the delivery first in the advanced we see we want to relay this one to the you know to the mail server uh, internet mail server and also we want to set up the you know The port 25 for this SMTP relay, and also if we click outbound security, we want to input the you know username and the password for authentication in order to relay the email. So we also tick the TLS encryption for the you know to encrypt the traffic when sent out to the you know SMTP relay. This is done. And then click OK, and then we click Access. The message, you know, yes, this uh, size of the message is uh, we want to change. We can change the size of the message, and then we go to the Access. You see, there's a relay button. If you want to allow all the IP address except the some servers, you can just select the you know IP address or accept the list below. Or you want to just restrict some IP address, you can set the top one and add the IP address in. So I just select this or accept list below and click OK. And then if I go to the Generous tab, I want to enable login. I already enabled now. So if I go to properties, we see this log files in the Windows slash system32 slash log files folder. So click OK. So after this one is already set up on the server, then we want to do this test. So normally I will go to the server, go to the you know internet to Download the simple SMTP client, which I already downloaded. You can just search for the SM, simple SMTP client, and then you download from here. Download the zip file, and I download the file, and then from the downloads folder, I have downloaded this file, and then I, I don't need this one, and then I extract the zip file to a folder and then I open this one right then I just want to put the local host so port is 25 
And then because I use the open VLA, I don't need to input a username password. I just put the phone IP address, email address. So I just send an email from, you know, for the open relay, I just send to the local host. If I just click send email, so it says mail email sent. Let's go to the user mailbox, Bob Winter, go there. So, well, so we see, you know, the email working fine now, so this, SMTV relay send an email to the Bob Winter email address successfully. That's all I show you. Thank you.